so hello everybody. Thank you. I've met some great people here. Um, I've really enjoyed this level one immensely. I have done level one before in Melbourne. Um, so three years ago, um, I was in my funk. You all know the story because <laughs> we've all been there. Um, and I, like everyone else, um, there was a journey to faster EFT. Um, I, <coughs> I, um, I couldn't get over a, a relationship that I um, was in uh, that had en ended and I was crying and I couldn't get over it and it was the perfect love for me because it was a love that wasn't really love at all. But it's the only love I knew. <laughs> I only bought one pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you want to... <laughs> um, late um, one night, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fix this. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to fix this. I can't go on like this forever. <laughs> okay, so I'd used... Um, EFT very, very briefly and had some results with it, but it came, the issues came back. But that was many years prior to what I'm talking about now. So I decided that I'd get on YouTube and I'd type in rejection EFT. And there was a lady that come up and Robert, and I'm like, faster like everyone. Oh, it's faster. <laughs> so um, I watched that and she integrated all the ladies' past partners and cleaned it all up. Well, I tapped along and I went, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but this stuff works. And then there was other aspects to this, uh, to the imaginary made-up problem I had. And I thought, I'm going to go and I'm going to find someone that can do this. And I did a Google search and I came across um, Palm Right. <laughs> And I work night shift, and Pam lives about two hours from me, so I would fin finish night shift, and I went to see Pam. And the first, after the first um, session, I thought, that lady is just weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, but I've paid for another two sessions, so I have to go back. And there was a couple of things she did in that session. One was ask me a maths question, and I thought, are you serious? Are we doing your tax return now? <laughs> and then the other one was she called me a liar, and it took me all the way to level one to realise that's a state breaker. I thought she really thought I was a liar. <laughs> I heard Robert say it, and I went, oh, she doesn't really think I'm a liar. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so... Um, and oh, the other one that I saw was Michelle because I thought if, if you can fix someone that had been through a trauma like that, I thought I can be fixed too. Um, and then uh, the benefits of going to Pam were a lot. I'd, um, I'd actually had anxiety since I was 15. Um, and I didn't go to Pam for anxiety at all, and I haven't had an anxiety attack since. Um, uh, except for maybe now. <laughs> Sorry, this brought it back. <laughs> no, it didn't. Um, so um, then I went, I was so fascinated by this, I went to, because I went back to the third one, and I didn't care about the money, I didn't care about anything. I just wanted to talk to Pam about what the hell she did. I thought it was amazing and I'm like, you know, um, and I've had some great success not only with myself but with other people. I, a lady was annoying me about her husband at work and she was driving me insane I, and she was on, she was actually uh, sick so I get stuck with all the sick people because I'm in a, work in a lab in the office so I have to give them jobs to do. She's gone on and on and I said, look, look, just sit down and we'll do this thing and I was... Um, and she had done some before because she, I, I work with her and everyone, um, whether they like it or not, know about it. <laughs> and um, I worked on her and we worked through um, 
the things she had with her husband. Every time she told the story, I asked her to tap. And then the next day she saw me and she said, did you go home and do voodoo on me? She said, I woke up this morning and we got along great. <laughs> I don't know how to do voodoo, by the way. Um, I, through this community, um, I don't even know some of the people that have helped me because people put up things on Facebook quite often and I get tips and ideas um, and it's uh, Fritz Miller who I don't, I have no idea who he is, he's from America and he's a great character. Um, he did how he stopped smoking so I did the same thing and I haven't had a cigarette for over a year and a half and I did message him and tell him that that happened a few months ago. Um, so it was all thanks to someone I don't even know in this Faster EFT family. And um, I do have to go back to level one though because I didn't have the money and couldn't get the time off work for level one. And I'd, as I said, I'd get on the no watch the YouTube, so the lady with the red hair that won the money and everything else. So I imagined myself at level one and I did all the tapping and all the resistance and I thought, well, how can this be? Because, you know, the two people I work with are going away. So it's just not possible. So, and then um, we got, had a meeting one night and we, they said, well, between March, blah, 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 and blah, 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 we're doing maintenance, the whole factory shut down. <laughs> okay, and then um, I didn't quite have enough money because if I don't work, I don't get paid. So I thought, how am I going to get that? And I, I just gave up and I thought, I'll ring my credit card company and just see if I can, like, add some more money onto my credit card. And it's an automatic transaction that I'd been paying my credit card off. And um, the lady said, um, oh, you don't have to extend your limit. And I said, well, no, no, I'm sure I have to. She said... No, it's been paid off for ages. You've got $3,000 in credit. No. <laughs> so that was how I paid for it. <laughs> so I shut a factory and had money just magically appear. All thanks to <laughs> the red-headed lady on YouTube and Robert. So, um, so... And I've, I've got lots of stories of manifestation. I've won an iPad. I've won a really beautiful diary that I wanted. Um, I've improved my relationships. So, yeah, I encourage everybody, and I, I do work on myself. You can ask Pam. I regularly work on myself. I don't do it every day, but I really want to incorporate it every day. Um, but there would be very few times that, um, if anything happens... Uh, unless I'm really in my funk and need a practitioner to help me, uh, which is Pam, <laughs> but um, that I will work on myself because I do want to be different to what I was. Um, yeah, so, um, but I do, I like the person I am becoming, definitely. Um, but I would, and because I did level one two years ago now, I would encourage everybody, oh, I've got snot running to my <laughs> <laughs> um, to uh... <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> um, if an if nothing else, um, get on and practice, and uh, even like the practitioners and Robert and everyone are there. I can't believe how willing they are to help others. There's a lot of stuff on Facebook. There's a lot of um, free information. Uh, they're always willing to help, um, which amazes me at um, how generous everyone is with their knowledge and their sharing. Um, yeah, so, and that's something I wished I had have done two years ago, but I didn't have the confidence. Um, so... I have in really enjoyed the last week um, and I'm doing level two in Brisbane and I'm looking forward to that.